Alright, so I am going to attempt to make transparent aluminum. I have had some success recently, but I'm going to videotape it now and probably do a cut and provide a really uh, super eloquent explanation of why it works. So, without any further ado, basically what happens, for what, what I think happens, is when you heat the aluminum, it changes the structure of the uh, aluminum because it has metallic bonds. But when you heat it, I believe it changes that to, well, something else. It might crystallize. I don't think it crystallizes. Brad, do you have any idea what happens to transparent aluminum? Mm -hmm. what? Do you Do you know anything about transparent aluminum other than what I told you? No, no you don't? No. Well, then why do I keep you around, eh? Yeah, that's Brad. Brad, Brad, we call him. The main man, the cock of the walk. They had Booba Supremo. Uh, so... Let's see how well that did. Wait, see that? You can see the green light through it. Wait, let's hold it up to my... Uh... Alright, so you see that? You can see my light through the aluminum. Obviously, that's not that clear so I'm gonna continue heating this see, like like that spot right there that's really clear and that actually yeah I don't think that's actually a hole or anything that might actually I'm not even close to this right spot but yeah see you can uh, if you hold up the light you can see the light through it so I'm gonna continue heating this and hopefully get it better quality and then come back and then do that part where I explain what happens. Alright, so one th ooh, I saw the video on. Alright, so one thing that I found is if you uh, hold up the flame behind it, that's something you can see really well. So yeah, it's obviously not glass grade uh, or anything like that. But you can see through. That's why it's... Uh, I would personally call this translucent aluminum because I think that seems a little bit more accurate than transparent because it's still incredibly reflective as you just saw there and you can only really see through spots of it but something that I haven't seen anyone do on YouTube is double it up and see if you can still see through it with a relatively thick layer even if it's still only well uh, I couldn't even judge the width of aluminum foil myself but the point is it's gonna be twice as thick which I mean if it's uh, the optics fall linearly would mean that it would be twice as opaque and half as transparent so I'm going to make another patch of hopefully transparent aluminum fold it over hopefully it doesn't crack because it's actually incredibly brittle like there's a few there's a crack right there oh look you can see actually see the power button through there see that anyway yeah um, so back in a flash all right as of now uh, as far as I'm concerned, you can't really see through that. I mean, that might be a little... That's either light leak from it not being perfectly flat or a little bit's getting through, but that's not transparent. So I'm going to try crushing it so it's flatter together uh, and less wrinkly, and I'll be back with that. You see that? It vect. You can see my lights through it. Obviously not fantastic, but uh, I'd call that success. So now to figure out exactly why, and I attempt to explain it in uh, two minutes or less. Here we go. So yeah, that's about the maximum level of optical clarity I could get out of transparent aluminum, at least at just my place with a little uh, barbecue lighter. But as you can see, just one very thin piece. Oh, look at that. That's actually really pretty. That's nice. So yeah, that's decent. I don't know why that, uh, the, um, it's not focusing on the piece of aluminum. See how it's, like, splotched in the parts where it's transparent? I don't know why that is. Maybe I'll find it out when I hopefully explain it, which I should be doing right now. Alright. More research. Uh, yeah, this isn't gonna focus, but I think I, uh, learned the reason as to why this is transparent 
well, I mean, it would be if I did it correctly. It's aluminum oxide, and if you know anything, well, if you know almost anything about chemistry, you know the glass is silicon dioxide. And uh, I actually did some research into why things are opaque or clear or translucent or what have you. The reason is that electrons can reflect light, more specifically electromagnetic radiation, which makes up the visible light spectrum. Uh, so that's why a metal is so shiny usually. However, when the aluminum gets caught up and bonded with oxygen, making aluminum oxide, those electrons are no longer free to move about. They're bonded to the oxygen, and they're not... I'm, I'd like to preface this with the fact that I'm not a chemist, a physicist, and uh, the extent of my science studies goes into one year of freshman biology uh, and a little bit of work with electromagnets for science fair, but that's not the point. <laughs> but what ha the, uh, the usually metal has a sea of electrons. If you look up metallic bonding, you'll get a more eloquent explanation than that. But... Uh, when you have it bonded to alu or to um, excuse me, oxygen, that sea of electrons isn't a sea anymore. It's 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 either covalent or ionic. I don't know which. Again, not a chemist. Really, any training in chemistry whatsoever. But that's the reason why it's no longer a sea of electrons. It's all the electrons bonded together, and therefore it doesn't reflect light nearly as well or as much and in fact in some places it is nearly transparent uh, if you want to do any independent research into this just google transparent aluminum there are much better results than mine and I'll probably revisit this at a later date because uh, this is actually kind of interesting um, just on the wikipedia article it said it's actually harder than sapphire and while I don't want to ruin this particular piece because this is all I have left it's not going to focus on it, but that's not the point. Um, this this is very brittle, just given how thin it is.